Hey guys, you're watching Mida Lada TV. In this video, I would like to talk about my workbench, or to be a little bit more precise, I would like to talk about the T-Track system I use here on my workbench. Um, if you follow my channel, you could see that I uh, swap out different tools. I use different positions for my tools, and that's possible because I use this T-Track system here. Many of my German viewers asked me to make this video and that's the main reason, so here we go. I think, I hope, this content here will not harm the guidelines from YouTube. Um, however, um, it doesn't matter where I upload my videos or my English videos. You can, uh, I can upload them to YouTube, to Vimeo, to YouTube, whatever, all of them doesn't matter where I upload them, all of them will be available at the Reloaders Network. So wherever I upload my videos, you can find them at the Reloaders Network. So without of, uh, further talking, let's start with the T-Track system. Okay, here is a close-up of my reloading bench, of the top of my reloading bench. And here you can see that there are two T-Track uh, rails. Uh, installed in my uh, workbench already. Uh, those T-Tracks uh, here are parallel. It's very important that those, uh, those uh, tracks here are parallel so you can move your tools. Um, it's a piece of aluminium, a T-Track. This here is uh, without holes. And this here is for M8 or a these are those uh, metric screws. So this T-Track system here is for uh, those M8 bolts. You can uh, move them inside the rail. You can uh, tighten and screw. And with this you can uh, swap out your tools. All of my tools are on uh, little boards and I can uh, swap them out, I can move the position and so on. Um, I will show this here in a minute. Um, installation is very easy. Uh, you have to mill a slot parallel, two of them. Uh, the slot in this case uh, would be uh, 17 millimeters uh, in width and 11 millimeters uh, deep. So the T-Track system or yeah, this, this rail here is flush with uh, my uh, board. Yeah, my board. Is it right? I don't know. So, uh, with the top of my reloading bench. Sounds better. It has to be flush and those rails have to be uh, parallel. Okay, now I would like to show you an um, example of my tool, which is uh, mounted uh, on this T-Track here already. I will show you uh, how I can move this tool and then I will add another and will show this here as well. Um, before I do so, uh, you can see that there are no holes in this T-Track. Um, it's very simple. Just drill some holes, um, sink them and that's it. I will show a close-up of this as well. Okay, here you can see uh, the screw inside the T-Track. Uh, it's very important that those screw heads are flush, so that there uh, is nothing that can uh, stop this bolt here from moving. I uh, set those screws here to mount the T-Track every 20 centimeters. Okay, here you can see that I've got a tool on a piece of board. All of my tools, in this case it's a uh, reloading press, but all of my tools are on those boards. And those boards are similar. I drilled four holes uh, on the left side and the right side. Uh, in the lower part and the upper part I drilled uh, four holes. Uh, the M8 bolts, uh, which are in the T-Track, go through those holes and I use uh, those grips to tighten uh, the screws. 
and when I tighten them, it's very fast. It holds the board and my tool in place very solid. If I would like to move, I just unscrew it a little bit, not totally, and then I'm able to move my tool to the position I would like to have it. If I would like to add a tool, I just insert uh, four of those uh, M8 bolts, uh, push them through the uh, T-track to the position I would like to have, and then I add another board with the tool of my choice. And that's the whole magic of those T-tricks. I can use a limited space for very, very, uh, it's no limit of tools. Uh, all I have to do is mount those tools on boards, drill holes through those boards so that these bolts here can go through, uh, screw the board uh, to my workbench and that's it. So I love the T-Track system. It's very good, very fast and a simple way to use different tools on your workbench. Okay guys, and this was my short video about the T-Track system on my workbench. So with this T-Track system I can use many tools at a limited space and I would install them every time again. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. If so, please leave a thumb up and uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about those T-Tracks here for the workbench. Um, I think this video here will stay on YouTube. However, like I told you in the beginning, uh, you can find my English videos at the Reloaders Network every time. So it doesn't matter where I upload and host those videos, you can find me there. Okay guys, thank you very much for taking the time watching my videos. Hope I see you next at Vida Lada TV.